Yeah, Sick trying to back up. Provide some sort of cover. Two Roombas are going to cross and pass. The Blast Pack was there, and Asuna's Ghost is actually going to be the one that deals the final blow. Asuna goes a bit aggressively, try aggressively excuse me, and he's trying to provide more pressure. Up across the pinch point on the map, Steel's going to be able to take care of Dapper. Dicey continues to go aggressive with the Frenzy. One left on the side of Sentinel. Sinatra's not going to be around for long. In the last map behind him and starting off strong here, 100 Thieves are in control and once again they're hitting a it's gonna be a slightly different look as more presence is coming in from showers but the site's the same nonetheless okay well this is uh starting off very difficult for the sentinels they're just down to two make it down to three make it down to two it's an even matchup but shazam is the last one standing now got one shock dart left in the tank the recon bolt is ready they're gonna plant towards that shower side and Nitro just barely escapes with his life. It's 1v2, Hiko versus Nitro, and Shazam about to enter and try to win this round. It's going to be difficult. Remember, this is a gun round moving in for the Sentinels, and this is a round they were hoping to win. But the fact that it's all up to Shazam, he realizes, okay, they planted for showers. Let me clear it out. Let me pre-fire. But 100 Thieves have been wrapping around him the entire no time. Here comes Nitro from the side, and 100 Thieves win. Sentinels haven't been able to stop anything. Oh, this is going to be their chance, and it'll start off hot for Sick. They'll defend the hookah push, but it never really was a hookah push. Asuna was just causing a distraction. But so far, they've been able to stop the plant. It's only Dicey that'll find the refrag, but it's down to two final players here for 100 Thieves. The Lamp's control was strong enough. The spike's still down. They need to go pick that one up. Tico will tag up the camera. Does see another player there. Actually, I think he used the... Wait, did he use Hedwig to tank the camera? Holy smokes. I think it was trying to tag a player, but it tagged Hedwig instead. Dicey grabs the spike, rotates over, and now it's all down to the 2v3. Yeah, it's interesting to see Dicey go all the way around, too. Certainly waiting for Hiko to join. As you see, members of Sentinels have rotated over as well. One of them staying back. Uh, it's going to be Shazam, who's still kind of hanging around over by A. But 100 Thieves with the Blade Storm and the technically the numbers disadvantage should be able to get onto here with relative ease, but it's Sinatra. Sinatra's going to be on the swing. Away. Dicey's not able to win that. Sinatra's actually going to get the heck out of dodge and preserve his life. Now all members of Sentinels are coming over. He goes in a difficult situation. Yep, he does see one, at least the shoulder of one. Sinatra pushes forward. It's going to find that frag onto Hiko. It pans out, um, and if it's brought back in later maps. Ton of utility being brought into Hookah. You hear the showstopper has been used as well, but no, he's not even going to get a chance. Dicey goes in as well, not able to get anyone yet. A sick takes care of him. The defensive line in the Hookah holds fast yet again. Still holding on. We have to re remember that it does look like some of the 100 Thieves members a little worse for wear in the economy. While the rounds have been won, they haven't been very... Uh, you know, they haven't been flawless, they haven't been perfect, but that's okay. It's all down to Hiko. Unfortunately, the clip runs dry for Sick. Hiko finding himself a parting gift as it's a 1v2 doable, but both members are on the opposite side where the spike is located. Now, I imagine there might be a play here with the Hunter's Fury, but he may not want to use it in a round that he could statistically lose. There's the swing, there's the... Excuse me, at least the same roll, but in a slightly different manner. Uh, and so far... They have been able to get two up on the board. Shazam with the Operator getting the best of steel early on. Certainly going to help. Icy gets a lot of space. That's the Orbital Strike. Don't really say that too often. Zom's going to find one. Nitro will feel the fire as Dicey now walks his way into the site, tries to use the smoke as cover. This unfortunately goes incredibly sour. And by the time 100 Thieves started to trade, they didn't have anything to trade up. Oh man, 100 Thieves doesn't look like they're going to be bringing much firepower to this gunfight. They've already lost one for this fight outside of showers. You also see the member rotating the sick. He takes a telly. Nitro greets him with warm opening arms as Asuna does as well. But Zombs is able to take care of him. He continues the carnage. He's already got three on the round as members of 100 Thieves just continue to fall apart. Nitro takes the spike and gets all the way over to the opposite site. You already saw... Uh, I, yes, Hiko. Hiko rotating over as well. They're going to get the spike down. Hunter's Fury available. And a couple of shock darts. Nitro. Ni Nitro. Nitro is going to play point here in the elbow. Smoke's about to go down as well. Doesn't have a paranoia, so he can't 
Can't bait anything out. Recon Bolt will not spot anything out. A couple of oh, shots wow. up to no good. Shazam gonna feel that one down to the 2v2. Doable, but we have to recall Hiko a little worse for wear when it term in terms of what weaponry he has. Shock guards come through. There's Dicey in the smoke. Nitro's gonna find him down to one final player. Nitro with the quadra. A thrifty round for a hundred thieves. They went waiting for a hundred thieves. Constantly looking for a pick, constantly looking for something. They'll find something onto Dapper. But really, like we consistently see that the B side is really passive for the Sentinels. Round after round, heavier presence towards this A side. You should and 100 Thieves constantly batting their head into a wall here, trying to break through. But when Shazam's on the opposite side, that's what happens. You peek, you get shot. Zoms finds another one lurking through the showers, and it's just down to three. They're still committed. They still want to take down this lockdown. But unfortunately, it's Sentinels that can't take it down. Asuna and Hiko, they make their way onto the site. It's down to the 2v3. Not looking good for the Sentinels, but now they're trying to escape. Paint shells working out incredibly well. It's down to the final player here for Asuna. And Shazam will take him down. A little bit of a, a crazy round. A lot going on there. Spike did end up going down. But 100 Thieves can't break through onto the A site. No, it was chaotic. And it... Sinatra here on this eco has used the Blade Storm. The ever important equalizer. Shazam, man, the guy just continues to do it. That time it wasn't down A short, but the results were the same. Yeah, Dicey trades it out. But the damage was done, and I believe... Oh no, that Operator's still sitting down there. It looks like Under Thieves may be able to pick it up and get away with it. It's gonna be a little bit more difficult to do that. Dicey may be looking for an upgrade. Soon he gets into a little bit of trouble, but now he's about to get involved. Hops in through the portal. We'll see if the rest of the team follows. That's Dicey now with the op looking for rotations from the site, but the Sentinels aren't going that way. They're going towards the site the old-fashioned way through the market. There is a turret there from Steel. And it's still going to be able to spot them out, or at least cause a problem. Sinatra raiding with the Blade Storm on the opposite side. The spike's about to go down. Sentinels have to retake. Spike planted. Spike has been planted. Dicey's still on the opposite side of the map. He's going to be sitting there alone for a little while, as all resources of Sentinels have invested. Well, have been invested. Excuse me over onto B. This time, the retake attempt is going to be a bit different. Sinatra's going to dash his way in. Is there going to be applying pressure from opposite sides of the map? Dapper gets taken out. Sinatra with the blade storm tries to equalize things, but 100 Thieves hold strong. It's just Sick, who has the showstopper, but doesn't have any more help. Hiko takes care of him. 100 Thieves. Aggressive look of a short. This time, it's not an operator that's waiting on the cusp. It's actually a couple of their players who are waiting there. But elsewhere on the map, Asuna is able to get on the board first as things try to open up around the B site. The spike is not fully wow. committed. There's that aggression from Dapper. He was able to get steel, but he was traded right back at the hands of Hiko. Yeah, Sentinels finally applying some heavier pressure towards the B site. I wonder if they heard Dicey doing something here. Eventually that recon bolt will spot him out. He doesn't have support here, but he does have a couple of players in the hookah side, and it's smoked off. So now he's going to get to safety. A great presence of mind there from Shazam to pull back. Now it's 100 Thieves that have to worry about Shazam, who's back in the elbow. Shot's going to land on to Dicey. Holy smokes. Down to the 2v2. That's the showstopper that won't land. It's all down to six. Thirty seconds left. Last round, we saw him in a 1v2. Here we see him in 1v2 again. The recon bolt pops out, but Hiko is stronger and mightier. The 3k on the ramp to... It stops the recon bolt, yep. but it still reveals them. <laughs> well, we saw members start to dash onto the side. Another very aggressive look, and again, it was pressure from a couple of different sides. Now the different members of Sentinels made their way up B long. It was a bit delayed, but the outcome was the same. They're on there. 100 Thieves is going to have to fight for the retake. Now the cavalry is starting to arrive, but it might be too bit too late. Ladies and gentlemen. One player remains. It's Steel. I just want to highlight how intelligent on the attacking side. Oh, big kill there onto Asuna to open things up. They get the kill, and then they go the opposite way. The thing is, over on that A site, 100 Thieves has lit that bad boy up in many a way. A ton of utility all over the place. They're going to try to work their way to a short. Sinatra's going to get a chance with the operator. Going to miss. Fortunately, is able to back up into safety. But members of 100 Thieves beginning to fall apart. Sentinels with control. Not really the most ideal weaponry, but once again, Hiko with the Hunter's Fury is going to find one. Find two! Oh, I told you! 
The man is cracked with that bow and arrow. Definitely bringing it to the gunfight. Worked out for the 100 Thieves. But they still have two more members from the Sentinels to work through. Dicey sees one from distance. Now Hiko's going to find himself an upgrade. Oh, the shock dart, Hiko! Are you kidding me? Now the Hedwig comes out. Sending a couple of note cards there. But now he's going to take the battle to the fort. He's going to try to chase him down. Ghosts are ringing through. The headshot is good. Are you kidding me, 100 Thieves? Hiko finds the 4K, the Shock Dart, the Hunter's Fury, and the Ghost of all things with a Phantom in his pocket. 100 is going to use that Blade Storm that has been devastating time and time again as it looks like Sentinels is going to try to work their way up A. Sinatra dashes in and unfortunately is taken out before he gets a chance to even fire a single blade. Suna up above gets domed by Shazam. See the stim beacon, not something we see a lot of anymore. Trying to give him a little bit more of a higher rate of fire. The Bulldogs will find one, but it's all down to Dapper. He's trying to hop, skip, jump his way onto the side of the Frenzy. Likely not going to be as impactful as he would hope. Dicey with 3 HP, a Frenzy. They're going to take a bit of an aggressive look outside of Hookah. There are going to be a couple of members of Sentinels just on the wings, too. You see Sinatra gets a haircut from that operator. The showstopper's going to come out, but it does not matter. The impact, excuse me, of the blade Bro. certainly does. However, Bro. as Asuna peeks with him as well, a devastating Bro. duo there from the folks over at 100 Thieves. When we started the series against TSM, I said, especially on a set, how are you going to deal with Dicey and Asuna? How? How are you going to do it? This combo is disgusting. They peak together. They win together. They frag together. And Sentinels, they need something to answer. And I'm not saying it has to be an individual person. You have to find a way to play around it. What utility are you going to bring to find success? How are you going to deal with these two players to push them off of their respective, uh, you know, map assignments, right? What are you going to do? Because it seems like at the current, what they can bring to the table. Because I know that Asuna and Dicey are, are a big problem for teams. It's difficult to take them off their, you know, off the pedestal. But it's the rest of the team that is also well-rounded. We've seen great games from Steel, great games from Nitro. Nitro, I don't know why I keep saying it like that. But now we're going to see the push here onto the B site. It's down to the 4v4 and Sentinels are trying to get this spike. Yeah. Oh, you hear the lockdown is going to be used to try to create a little bit of space. Dicey with the Operator working his way around as Sick begins to plant the spike. Nitro getting the best of him as he gets a second one on to Sick as well. Nitro looking for the third and give it to him, baby. Tee it up and knock him down. One left on the side of Sentinels and it's Shazam. He's getting pushed in. Nitro with the 4K. Wow. Didn't have very many bullets in the gun and it didn't matter. 100 Thieves. Absolutely. Steam or 100 Thieves, are they really that good? I think it's a little bit of both, if I'm going to be honest, because this Thieves roster has really impressed us throughout the entirety of today. Sick, unfortunately, getting that spike down. The Aftershock is going to injure him temporarily, but now it's just going to be pandemonium on the site. Sentinels are going to be able to hold off this defensive retake. And it's all down to Eco and company to see if they want to go for exits or if they want to fight the battle. Oh, Zom's getting clashed up in heaven. Nitro, meanwhile, down low, is able to deal plenty wow. of damage, as is Nitro and Hiko. They all get in on the action. Sick, watching the spike. See it get tapped by Hiko. He's going to be forced to back up. That's a brutal situation to be in. That you want to see out of an omen, right? Oh, no. Oh, Shazam goes in aggressive, and he's met by Dicey. And his bullets is taken out. Nitro gets in on the action as well. Dicey still, from back of the site, continuing. The pilot on Sentinels just down to two members left. The spike has not made it on his site. It's quite frankly not anywhere close. As Sick is able to take care of Asuna. Looking for another one. Gets it. But is not around for long. Nitro gets the best of him. Dicey wasn't able to get that pick well. as the blast pack was definitely a little bit more painful. And once again, we're looking at that exact thing right here. Dicey unfortunately in trouble. What a flash there. I don't even know where that came from. That might have actually been Hiko exactly unfortunately flashing Dicey in the process. And that is really going to hurt in the long run. That's the blade storm gone. Another member will fall in the middle, right up the split. Now it's just down to three final players for 100 Thieves. Yeah, they work their way at middle, cause a little bit of ruckus over on B, but Dapper has been over by A the entire time. So they're going to get plenty of information. You see the wall that's going to be going up as well to block off anyone rotating from the back side. As Sinatra is able to take care of two on the side of 100 Thieves. They're going to have access to the site. They're going to have full control. Just steal yet again on the outside into the members of Sentinels. Just a far more 
passive look and steel not going to be in a 1vx at the end of the round because he's the first one to go down oh dicey oh dicey oh dicey baby he's able to get two he goes in he gets what he was looking for deals the damage and gets out oh what do you mean get out what do you mean i don't think the hunter thieves know the <laughs> definition of that i feel like i'm watching complexity play never mind still a 3v3 dicey's playing close Nitro is just trying to provide a distraction. Say, okay, I'm the only one here. I'm the only one. Trust me. It's just me. I wanted to look inside. I pay the price. It's okay. It's just me. Dicey on the opposite side, though, has to play the patient game. The spike is right where he's located, so Sentinels have to play exactly correctly. Dapper is going to rotate around. Eco is coming to provide some additional fire support, but he's smoked off. So Dicey in an important position. He gets paranoid. Just oh, waiting for his opportunity, the camera. Here he comes. He's got to get out of here. That's the updraft over. He still has time. He has another one, but eventually he gets taken down. Eco, the last player standing. Now it's Shazam chasing him down. The aerial classic with the... An important battle is happening in the middle once again. Dicey looking for somebody. He has the tailwind out to safety. Steel actually finds yeah, himself in an engagement. Way. Now he's just kind of trying to stay underneath. Guess who's dropping down? Oh, oh goodness wow. gracious. You Shazam really will be taken down. But the resurrection puts Sinatra back into the mix. We don't get to see that too often because mm -hmm. nobody plays Sage anymore. So now we have a 4v4 with Sinatra back into the fray. The spike looks like it's going to be creeping its way around to be. The wall has gone up. The paint hands are there to deal severe damage on a sick and take him out from the round. Take him out of the fray. The spike is harmlessly sitting on the entrance of the site. Sinatra's taken out as well. Nitro getting the best of him. Zombs up and head have been able to stand strong. Uh, however, out of some of these early aggressive looks, then here they're going to do it again. It actually wasn't Dicey with the blades. He was able to get a kill with Asuna with the rifle. Nonetheless, the outcome was the same. Wow. Dicey is able to light up the kill feed with two kills, but Sick responds with three of his own. 100 Thieves just down to Hiko. I yeah, what exactly an important frag as well to find. Neural Tef's going to make things very difficult here for Hiko. He's going to try to use the fault line to buy himself some time. They know exactly where he's located, that this A site should be relatively clear to get that spike planted. But for some reason, they're going to trail over towards the B site. Hiko's going to be oh, in the no. exact perfect spot to be a contact point here. If they're going to get the resurrection to really confirm this round. Maybe pull back towards the A site. They know that Hiko's not there, at least for the time being. Hiko now going to be able to start to chase after them. Unfortunately for them, Sinatra. Wow. Well, Hundred Thieves try to cover all sides of the site as best as they possibly can. They split off from the tower and don't find much success. They're still going to start to push through, but the Sentinels have been there all along, one after another. I haven't seen that wall in a long time. Trying to gather a little bit more intel. Now as they see 100 Thieves starting no to funnel through, Six just gonna mow him down, try to avoid the paranoia. That wall has been in phenomenal cover, at least for the most part. He does eventually end up falling this down to one final play, but it doesn't look like Sentinels play towards that rope side either. So that might be a play that they can play, play in the playbook that they can run, but have to consider the factor of Asuna being a nuisance on that B-side. Resurrection will put Sinatra back into the fray. So that frag was for not. And Shazam finds another 100 Thieves have fallen apart. Yeah, very quickly tipping in the opposite direction. Steal up in heaven across B gets taken right back down. At the hands of Sick Nitro, however, is going to go a bit more aggressively. Hiko trying to assume the position that Steel had and hopefully him brings some better success and he does just that. 100 Thieves are going to be able to get onto the B-side, drop things down to a 2v2 as Nitro and Hiko try to put a round up, try to stop some of this bleeding, the onslaught that has come from Sentinels. It's so far so good. Shazam, the last one standing, he's going to drop down with the Sheriff, able to deal enough damage to take him out. A 1v1 as the spike continues to tick. Oh my gosh, Shazam with the 3k with the Sheriff gives Nitro the business and gets the defuse. It's likely now seeing what Sentinels are bringing to the forefront on Split that we will likely go to that third map. 100 Thieves oh top in. Sinatra's been up there with the Odin. We know he likes to make that Odin go burr, but now 100 Thieves down a member still want to hit this B site. Yeah, you heard the Rolling Thunder was there to try to open it up, but there were no options. Asuna gets up close and personal is able to say, disarm Shazam and take the spoils of war. Asuna with the showstopper is going to be able to get Sinatra out as well. 
The spike still Ooh. on the outside of B. It hasn't worked its way there. Six is going to spot two, but he goes there to take care of him. This is such an important round for 100 Thieves. Steel going to play contact on the heaven side. Dapper and company are going to be investigating the crime scene. Bodies on the floor. Now it's down to Detective Zoms. Paranoia comes through, looking for the culprits. He's going to find one up in heaven. Shots come through, down to 11 HP. It's a difficult shot to make, and he's got... 100 Thieves still find themselves at a deficit. You talked about how much space they're able to get. Take a look at Dicey. He's just hightailing it over onto the side. He's able to get one, but the crossfire proves to be too much. Sick comes up from behind him. The wall's going to go up as well. You see the lockdown has been used to try to create even more space, and it looks like, no, nobody got detained. They gave a lot of space, and now they've got their own showstopper as well. So not for going in. He is vertical. Oh, Baby, that's going to be the double with the showstopper. Hiko, the last member standing, they know exactly where he's located, but they still have to deal with him. That's going to be two oh. shots from Hiko. Oh, Zoms peeks out. Dicey down to 11, and at least he's going to survive for the time being, and the smoke is going to allow him to cross safely if that's what he wants to do. Resurrection Man. of Zoms puts him back into the mix. That is... When you don't see Sage for a long time, and then you see the Resurrections come back in, you definitely feel how annoying it can be. <laughs> I understand now uh, how how difficult that... Oh, wow. Uh, but he's going to lose his life regardless. He's already down. As soon as going to find the Resurrector. But Shazam is still a nuisance down towards screens. They'll be able to get control. Oh. Guess who's up above? It's Asuna, but he doesn't notice. He's still going to find him anyway. Sinatra will trade him back out. The fight ensues on the Heaven side, but they're planting that... Spike Sinatra's getting involved. Nitro gets to safety. Now it's going to be the swing from both Hiko and Nitro. It's all down to Dapper. He's going to get flashed up as Hiko's got his robot arm stuck out to the side. Nitro will find Dapper. And now we're with the fight 200 Thieves who start to work their way up towards oh the center. They like this A side hit. They like to gather that control. But look, there's the orb Dapper. gathered here. So shot's going to be easy. But look at Dapper. As you called it, the shorty now upgrades to the Phantom. That's a problem. 100 Thieves came into this with the weapon advantage and are a little bit stuck now for what they want oh, to do no next. Way. Down to a 2v2. Spike is going to hightail it through the sewers. But guess who's there waiting for him? It's Shazam. Oh, and Shazam finds a weapon that is huge. Simo, but it looks like they're still focusing a bit more over to A. Meanwhile, the Spike Steel's going to get a chance, but Steel's got to land that shot. He's not going to get it. Shazam's going to dash forward, likely pick up the Operator, or at least he has that option. Should he choose so, it all comes down to Hiko. Hiko with an opportunity to extend the map to keep this thing alive. He has the Rolling Thunder as he slowly creeps his way through 30 seconds left. down ropes. It looks like he's going to go towards A. The problem is he doesn't have a ton of time to work with. Furthermore, Dapper is going to be waiting just on the other side. As soon as he swings out, Dapper is going to get a chance. Oh my gosh, he turned away oh. at just the wrong time. Hiko's going to get onto site. He's going to get the spike down. It's going to be a 1v1. And he's going to plant it wide out in the open. He's got the red carp as well. We'll see now how he decides to position, but guess who's chasing him down? It's Shazam. The shot's good from Shazam. And Sentinels will take us to that third map. Hiko almost with the heroics. Sentinels have established over up C long, and sure enough, that's exactly where the spike is rotating. As soon as going to get his chance, he threatened plenty of times out of that garage door and finally delivers as he takes care of Shazam. Meanwhile, Sentinels trying to mosey their way up C long are met by Nitro. He already has second on the round, and he continues to push the matter. They know exactly where the spike is. They can hunker around it at this point and just lock down the rest of the round. All down a dapper with a shorty and a dream 28 HP. Just trying to spread those bullets wide. Come to you. You can deal with that when they come your way, or at least you can attempt to. It's certainly much easier said than done. Eesh. Sick getting a big opening pick there on the dicey. The spike now is going to head its way over on A. You see resources from 100 Thieves already rotating over as well. The one exception being the Phoenix, Asuna, who's going to show up a little bit later. But keep a close eye on the Omen on your mini-map, folks. It's going to be late to the party. Steel oh. drops down. Oh, my gosh. He mows down Sentinel. Oh, my goodness. He does get flashed up in the process. Still two members remain on both sides. But weapons have been upgraded. Shock Dart's going to hurt Sick. He does have at least the Blaze Wall. Actually, Psych, that is the Blaze Wall on the opposite side. Asuna playing that. Zom's just trying to take out Hedwig, shoots it down. Seconds left. That's an owl down, but still two players remain on both sides. Paranoia to give them a little bit more space, but shots come out from heaven. Now it's Asuna, finds the frag, it's all down to sick. Phoenix be Phoenix. 
And the man in the mirror does win. The opposite side provides support for Dicey, who's still back behind Plat. Camera comes through, shot's not gonna work out. He's trying to keep keep himself in safety, but unfortunately he's starting to fall apart. He's still alive somehow, some way. Shazam takes him down. Hiko will find two down to the 1v1. But Shazam finding himself an upgrade. Or did he? There was a lot on the ground there. He's gonna try to plant that spike or maybe look for Hiko. Guess who never came? Guess who never showed up? It's Hiko positioning with that out through the wall. They have an idea of somebody being up in heaven, and it's going to be Hiko. As soon as going to be coming around the flank as well, Hiko gets the best of Zoms. Steel flushes his way onto the site. I believe. Oh, he, they were able to detain one. As soon as goes in, flashes two, but gets punished anyway. Yeah, they they just stuck the fuse. They here Asuna, who's made highlight play after highlight play in a position once again to make nice. something special happen. Yeah, unfortunately, the entire team of Sentinels were spraying through that door. It was only a matter of time before one of those bullets land, you know, shooting fish in a barrel. Eventually, you find the fish, and all that's left is water and a dead fish, and that's exactly what happened to Asuna. But for the rest of 100 Thieves, we've got to worry about this eventual push towards the seaside. They now start to see them start to come through. There's a battle of Jet v. Jet, but Steel has Dicey's back covered. Down to the 4v3. Here comes the Frenzy. Jeez. Finds its mark onto Zombs. And now it's a 3v2. Sinatra and company, they're on the site, but they are in dire trouble. It all boils down to a 1v1. Hiko versus Dapper and Dapper. As clearance and get in there, the alarm bar is going to go off, but the spike is going to go down anyway. You hear the Hunter Fury is being used to try to clear some of that off the site. Steel was waiting on the other side, but he gets the business at the hands of Sick. It will be nullified by the Hunter's Fury from Hiko. He manages to find one. Asuna doubling back. There is some presence there from the Sentinels. 100 Thieves just looking for a way to open up back into the site. The flank from Asuna is starting to work out. He needs to heal himself back up. That's the wall that goes up. There's a player over there, sees him wide, and takes him down. The 3v3 is all that remains, and the spike is still ticking. Yeah, but they've smoked off the entrance. They're going to force them to peek or just blindly fire through the smoke to try to stop the defuse. Meanwhile, Hiko's starting to stick. He gets it to halfway, and he gets taken out. Nitro's still up. However, as Sick continues to go aggressive, the Molly was able to take him out. He goes in on the site. He's flashed him up. Dicey's taken out. A 1v1, oh. and Nitro goes in. I don't know if he's going to have time. He might have gotten it if he oh, stuck it, but no. no, he pulled off for just a second. He forced their way back in. Used to run it back to clear up the site. That's going to be a curveball that hurts. As Shazam will be taken down. They're going to try to defuse the spike. Paranoia is going to make oh. things a little bit more difficult. They're still going to send those shots in. But once again, they're just trying to defuse the spike. Now Six starts to break his way open onto the side. The curveball is going to help out. Nico will find one, and he's just trying to make things expensive. He's going to bring it down to a 1v2 Sinatra as he third round if they lose this. But let's see what type of dire straits they have to bring out. They've got to run it back. They've got to hunt us There's a lot that they can use, but they, it starts with this pick here. It doesn't come to fruition as soon as can he find the refrags. Yeah, he's already been tagged up pretty badly. It looks like he's going to get flashed as well, but he does it through the flash oh. anyway. Oh my gosh, Asuna gets two. Crazy. This is why these two members from the Immortals roster were brought in. Asuna and Dicey are spectacular, as is Nitro. Dispatching of the Sentinels completely. The whole... They don't have information yet, though. They don't know if this Seaside has been hit. The Recon Bolt is going to at least keep them around temporarily. They're gonna start to push forward. Here's the action that is about to unfold before a very ice. Curveball is gonna help out. Unfortunately, the frag does not. It's the rest of the Sentinels that are able to find the picks necessary all down to Hiko. Just like that, the push kinda sits at a standstill. Hiko just trying to escape, maybe save that weapon. But this is the round that we anticipated Sentinels really coming to the forefront and they needed to, to be fair. If they lose that one, which 100 thieves, thieves tipped their hand and they were able to just pull right back and the resources were there very quickly this time around once again it looks like it's going to be a hit on a but things looking a bit better for folks over in red yep they break open onto the site the sewers battle definitely not going the way sentinels have hoped and you know we, to be fair throughout the entirety of the day we've seen a lot of presence and really throughout the entirety of the week a lot of presence towards that sewer side and, and while Haven does tend to feel like who can hit C the hardest on their attacking side, it, the A site is still a possibility. It's still there. It's still a site that was introduced in this map. And 100 Thieves winning that battle in the sewers really opening up this hit. Down a few final players. Sinatra drops down and gets a little heroic. Down to the 2v3. Finds another. Down to the 2v2. Down to just him. The recon bolt reveals where he is. Nano Swarm's not going to help out at all. 
but he's going to chase them down. He knows exactly where they're located. Think towards that long side, but Steel's wrapping around. The defusal's about to start to come through. Steel sees the angle, anticipating some sort of play in terms of, you know, the economy not really working out for 100 Thieves. The lockdown has dropped. Sinatra finds Asuna on the site, but they pulled the resources off of the Sentinels. They had a player on site. They had the lockdown as well. Steel may be looking for a couple of players in rotation. Yep, there is a player up in heaven. And now here's the footsteps as well. He's going to try to shimmy on over while he slow walks in the moonlight, while the rest of 100 Thieves will get that spike down and have to worry about how they're going to stop them from defusing it. One tag's come through. That's the, sh the, the slice and the dice goes on to Dicey. The Blastorm will answer back. You know, it was a good idea from 100 Thieves, but it didn't work out in the bigger picture. Their seaside angle. He has 10 health. Sitting in this 50. Oh, Steel. Steel's able to take care of Sick. That's such a brutal spot, right? If you're sick, knowing that things turned out that way, he was so weak. Nitro's going to teleport all the way into A, and Sinatra's there with warm opening arms, Take taking flight. care of that teleport and nullifying that advance. Sinatra's still going to be sitting over on that A site. Not a ton of room for 100 Thieves to work with quite yet, but they're starting to mosey their way. Up. The one thing worth noting, Dicey still hanging out over in mid, but Sinatra continues to hold fast. The guy is impenetrable right now, but the thing is, 100 Thieves are going to continue to come. They do manage to finally take left. him down. There's a player up in... Oh, in hell. I thought he was in heaven for some reason. That's a, that's definitely confusing to 100 Thieves as well, but Steel flanks around the box. He's been at 10 HP this entire time, but the spike still needs to be planted. Not much time remains, and Zoms is going to start to come in from the heaven side. There's a player looking up. The shots will connect. It's down to the 1v1. But Steel has been technically winning these consistently. Not going to win. Doesn't really know how to react because they have no idea how to react to this lockdown because they want to take care of it. But they can't when all of these different members are barreling from different angles and Sentinels didn't really understand how to deal with that attack plan. Oh, Sick going in aggressive. He flashes up one and is able to take care of Asuna. Still working that angle, but Dicey actually gets the best of him. You heard Hunter's Fury was used to try to clear out the site. Members of Sentinels are going to have to rotate their way over, but by the time they get here, it's going to be too little too late. Sentinels is just down three members left. Dapper gets taken out as they continue to hold on to the site. Sentinels looking for a prayer here just to extend this map. They're outgunned. They're outnumbered. The spike is down. Everything is going against them here. They do have Sinatra and Shazam. Psych, just Sinatra. Shots again. It's Nitro. 